all on. If y'all don't start commenting and sharing and subscribing, it's going to be me and y'all. Yeah. Stop playing with me. Comment. Hello, my fault. Go to the video. Hello. Some of that yeah, y'all. Before we get into this video, this is what I need y'all to do. To all the people that saying Nick go live, Nick go live, Nick go live. I'm always live. If y'all can see the what the goddamn hair, yeah, the sub the goddamn hair, yeah, that's what you do. Go to twitch.tv.com, go to my channel, uh, which is Royalties World CEO. Hit my profile and simply follow me. You will see when I'm live. Yeah, they <laughs> What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Nick G, the host, and today I'm back with another reaction video. Before we go any further, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. You dig what I'm saying? And what the goddamn hell you leave? One thing about me, on a late night tip, I'm going to make me a salad. <laughs> mm. mm -hmm. Y'all, this is the part two of Messy Monday. This is part two of Messy Monday. We about to get to the rest of this video. You dig what I'm saying? We got about 12 more minutes on this. You dig? So let's do that. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Don't be petty. Okay. I can't, you know, let that shit on here and and keep going on and everybody trying to keep coming for her. Don't even, you feel me? I ain't saying go for nobody else, but she ain't did no such thing. So leave that shit where it's at. And it ain't gonna be too much disrespect. Now let me tell you something. If my man ain't coming like that, then I don't need him. Cause one thing he gonna do is he gonna take up for some meat. So as suspected, we already knew this was coming. King came out and he had a few words that he had to get off his chest, along with a message that he had for Dwayne. So he came out and he said, I'm not gonna go on live. I said what I said, I'm gonna stand on that. The truth hurts whether it is two years or 10 years. Shit comes to the light and I'm very happy where I'm at. But I'm not going for people playing on my name for the money or the views. How many times have you seen me make a video talking about my ex? And I can vouch for that. I have not seen him make a video talking about uh, me. The person who brought all this back up was Cormen. And what was her purpose? But Nick was bringing up shit too. Facts. That nigga was mine his business. I'm bringing this back up. When you were doing your How's My Life Going video, you could have just made it about your life and not said anything about them or that situation, knowing that the entire truth is not out there. Unless y'all are all in cahoots behind the scenes saying, hey, let's make some money, let's put our names out there in some drama. Woo, woo, woo. Cause sometimes y'all YouTube people could be on a whole fucking scam. And that's a fact, but I don't think they are. Ain't nobody making no money off this shit. <laughs> really? So the message towards Dwayne was, and then for all dude, you were the third dude down the line from me. And I guess he's talking about because, you know, she was messing with, uh, what's that rapper name? Oh, I can't think of his name. Not like me. I got to get my onions. Same right without my onions. I already ain't got my eggs. It too. Well, she was messing with him to him. And was it somebody else? I thought it was just a rapper and him. Oh, she trying to say he third after them too. Oh, childish. So then he closed it off with, uh, well, real life me don't ever do this internet shit. Well, baby, you are a YouTuber. You technically do do the internet shit. And they're talking about beef. And if you think you're gonna fight that man, I know they say height and shit don't matter, but <laughs> king, sweetie. Child, they the same sit. height. But yeah, this is the message that he gave the girl. He basically said she was weird. He got the message that she sent him. And woo, woo, woo. They're probably the same height. Probably might not be the same size. But the same yada, yada, yada. I don't know. I'm just really sick and tired of this. And I know y'all are sick and tired of it too. We don't want to hear no more of this bullshit. If y'all can't fix it behind the scenes, please don't fix it with us. Because we don't give a damn. Okay? If you cheated, you cheated. If you fuck Carmen, you fucked up. If whatever. The fuck happened. So leave us the fuck alone. <laughs> if it ain't about me, let's keep keeping this Okay? Next one, I get we have Blueface and Krishan Rock versus his mother, Carlissa. Now, I know last week we talked about their drama, and at the end of the day, y'all, this drama is just so draining to me. It's stressful, and I feel like they're starting to pay these blogs to put them on there because ain't no way. <laughs> they is in here this much on the bullshit that they be on. So anyway, last week I had reported how they were out in Hollywood downtown and they had gotten to a little scuffle, right? Then all of a sudden it turns around, they in the bedroom together, lovey dovey, flirting, laughing, and keep can like ain't shit happened. Then the law got involved, and then you know the mama got involved. Now nah, them niggas was having some good ass sex. <laughs> 
real life shit, they just having a good sex. Like she's always involved. So that's when um, Blue decides that he wanted to go on the internet and he posted this right here and he was saying, hey, don't y'all believe shit my mama's saying. She just wants to be known to get her hair done for free. She's not even allowed to see the grandkids because she lost herself to the internet and nobody wants to be in the mix of that. So she comes back up and she says, oh, my poor baby sounding soft, talking about he lost his mom to the internet. Aren't you supposed to be a gangster? I'm like, how does that make somebody a gangster because he said he lost his mom to the internet. If your mom out here being a dent to Deborah, then girl, that's your fault. I wouldn't want to be dealing with you either if you put in all my business on the internet. And basically, you're proving him right with what you're doing right now. You're on the internet talking about y'all personal business. You're supposed to be mama. Mama's supposed to go talk to her son. Anyway, she said, if you can't see the past to run the place, some, 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 some shit. She talking like she a rapper trying to have bars. I don't give a fuck. But she just said, um, you got money and then you a follower. Mama, hush. <laughs> like, girl, hush, hush. So then she sit your ass down. She goes on and she makes this video right here. Where's your sister? Where's every single person that you started with? Where's your nephew? You let this woman get on there and claim to be kicking your child out your house. Have I ever put a man before any of y'all ever? Would I ever allow this type of behavior? I'm not allowed to see my grandkids. You not allowed to take them nowhere, son. You have to have supervised visits with their mother because of the type of person you running around here with. I want you to take a deep look on this internet tonight at yourself and all those people that I just named and ask yourself, did you lose them to the internet too? Did you lose them to the internet too? What is your dad? You and your dad used to kiss on the mouth. Senior year football finals. Y'all kissed and hugged on the mouth. That so? What the fuck is you talking about? That is your father. The man who was at what every single on the solitary mouth, game. I think that that's crazy. Now, he might not have sat through the practices with us, but he was at every game. He was everywhere for you. You allow someone to come in and taint your mind about your father also, son. Now, you're going to have to do better than that. Telling these folks I needed a free hairdo because, baby, you had a lot of money. If all I needed was a couple free hairdos, you in trouble. Now, I'm going to continue to pray for you and continue to try to love you, but you are not making it easy. You are not making it easy. And I don't give a damn about none of these people. Not a single solitary one of them. They the same fans you had in the football stands when they was calling you all kinds of names. Though These are the same people for me. Okay, we gonna, we gonna go ahead and end this and I'm, 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 I want you to go down your list tonight because I named off everybody that you have lost in, in, this, in this internet, as you call it. You lost every single person that loved you to this internet. And now you wanna blame me? I'm the reason for your dad? I'm the reason for your grandma, Pamela. I'm the reason for JC. I'm the reason for Suzette. I'm the reason for your sister and brother. I'm the reason for everybody. Where's Earl? Where's Bravo? So obviously she's hurting and it makes it feel like what he is saying is right. Like she just wants to be in the limelight. She wants the money. She wants the promo because if you're saying he lost you and the sister and everybody he started with, then so what? Let him lose y'all. So then when he falls off, now you got nobody. You be like, I told you so. Let him do him. That is his life. Let him live his life. But why do you why do you insist on trying to make him come and fuck with y'all if the man already said, I don't want to fuck with you. If somebody told me I don't want to fuck with me, I'm not going to try to make you fuck with me. It's fuck you at this point. So anyway, Krishan Rock come out and then she told the mama, bitch, I done took your son. You can never, ever, ever, ever get your son back. Like, damn. Like, you don't want to be like, you know, dead to the person that you really, like if you really love him, y'all, you would have pulled up and talked to him like a real woman, like on like that Instagram stuff, exploiting his business, lying on his name, making it worse for him and his, and, like you don't care, shorty. You feel like somebody owe you. Love don't got no cost to it, y'all. You weird. I don't care what nobody's saying. You weird. And you acting like you don't know where I, where I be at. Pull up again, shorty. We can have that second phase. That's fine. You and your daughter. 
So then Krishan sees that Blueface pulled up that on his baby mama Krishan and gave her a chain, man. I guess, after the baby was born over the case may be and it had her name on it and she felt some type of way. So then she goes live and this is what she had to say. This is funny. Give it a chain. <laughs> I don't know what y'all are like, you know, I'm drunk for real, but I wanna be a honey. How the f is on this couch? My bad, y'all. Damn. Over there catching these. You pull up with your baby mother, then I, it was funny because you told me not to post when we was at the gym today. You said not to post you this morning. What are you <laughs> You know what's the real? If I take myself out of this equation, I don't need none of y'all, none of this drama. It's fire, but <laughs> yeah, I'm not crazy as I. I guess she just ain't had no dick like that before, y'all. For real. See, like. What are you doing? Good. Yeah. 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 Did such a good job pushing that baby out. This is entertaining. Like, I wish I wasn't the person that was in the movie we're in. But, bro, I got the coolest role. I ain't gonna lose it. So, I'm not that mad. I'm just like, <laughs> what, what the f we doing here? You hear me? I swear to God. <laughs> I don't. I swear to God, I was at the jewel like. But also, Rochelle, how y'all people be having all this money? It's like every celebrity or person I done looked at on some of their videos, y'all got all this money. But y'all can't ever find enough money to change that cheap ass battery in y'all. Yo, shit, shit is exhausting. Stop. <laughs> now, child, you got me fucked up. This man's not gonna play in my face like that, but obviously that's what you like and that's what you're gonna deal with. But if it's me, know your place and run your race. I don't know what's going on. Child, it's just a whole lot of, whole lot of, at the end of the day, he is playing all of y'all and y'all all look stupid. You, mama, Krishan, Rob, and the baby mama. And then on top of that, he went on live and they told you to your face that he's still fucking his baby mama. Regardless. Are you fucking her or what? Let me know. Yeah, that's my baby mama. What do you mean? I'm fucking I with her. I shamed you like that. There you go. What's talking up? that shit, okay? Baby, you go talking your shit. Why your face look like that? <laughs> what do you mean? Hey, no pussy for you. I don't want to fuck you. <laughs> you acting like you didn't notice. That nigga blatantly said that he was a whore. He was like, I don't know this whore. He was so upset when she fucked with another nigga or whatever. Or a few other niggas or whatever. Girl, that boy ain't going nowhere. This is one bitch that really is going to make him stay. He's going to be 50 years old talking about, baby, I want to just, I want to make it serious. I want to make it serious. I want us to stay together. And her damn ass going to be right there. Okay, baby. Now, how is it he can fuck his baby mama still, but then when you decide to go meet up with a man at a hotel who got you out of jail, you can't do that. If you don't see how this man is controlling and a narcissistic girl, you are stupid. Why are you allowing yourself to get mad with him fucking with other people, but he can go fuck with other people? I don't know what the fuck y'all got going on in Hollywood, but bitch, when you had your audition tape for the Blues Girl Club or Bad Girl Club, whatever the fuck it was, you were like, if this man got you so stressed out, your voice is deeper than mine. You didn't start off like this. Girl, this man done fucked your whole life up and you stuck. Them soul ties is something real. I ain't got nothing to say about these two because at the end of the day, they're going to do what they want to do and they keep putting us in their group chat and it's stressing me out and it's getting boring at this point. Can we get a new topic, new story, new people? But all right, well, if it ain't about me, let's kick in this case. All right, you guys, that is all I have for Messy Monday. They were actually kind of quiet this week. There was more tea, but it wasn't like, no, oh, this is drama. I'm glad y'all calmed down, because last week, y'all was a hoot and a holler. But all right, I guess we're going to wait and see what the girls going to do this week. Hopefully, they get a little messy and give us some shit to talk about. Well, um... Um... You know, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Not my ranch just sitting in there. Make your own ranch. That's what make that salad boss. But anyway, listen, y'all. Um, I don't know what they are going on. You know, it'd be a lot of crazy shit going on on the internet. But 
Girl, Krishan ain't going nowhere. That's blue face pussy right there. Might as well call her Blue Junior or Pussy Blue. Uh, <laughs> pussy Blue. Something like that. But anyway, y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below, man. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hell yeah.